go. Diego, Diego, who did this to you? It was the Lone Ranger. seen the Lone Ranger? Well, uh, yes. He came here yesterday, and he rode away towards the foothills. Gracias. Howdy, stranger. Buenos dias, senores. How are you fixed for the water? Get the canteen, Danny. Yes, yes, senor. Now, if you could spare a little for my horse, I... Horse? Huh. Stranger, that's all the water we got. Oh, I'm sorry, I... Uh, we're, we're running a little short. But the Lone Ranger said there was water just ahead. He'd post the trail so we could find it. The Lone Ranger? How long ago was he here? Not more than two hours ago. Gracias, senores. Right back and mark the field for Daniel's party. Mm, me wait here. Might be making a mistake. I'm making no mistake. Start drawing because I'm going to start shooting. Ah, if the Lone Ranger is too much of a coward to die fighting, he will die anyway. It's all right, Otto. Don't shoot. Shoot me, like I did my brother. Who was your brother? Maybe you remember. Diego Vasquez, homesteading near San Ramon. As my brother, he die in my arms. He tell me the Lone Ranger shoot him in the back. I'll make a deal with you. Put off killing the Lone Ranger for at least three days and ride with me to San Ramon. I'll help you clear this thing up. I will not bargain with a murderer. I took an oath. Give me your word that you'll hold off for three days. Why should I? At the end of that time, I'll face you with any weapons you choose. I have the word of a bandido on that? You have the word of the Lone Ranger. Está bueno. I will give my word. It's taken us two days of hard riding to come this far. But the town of San Ramon can be reached from here in a couple of hours. We'll rest here tonight and start looking around in the morning. Don't have been looking around today. See everywhere many herd. Oh, it's cattle country. Since the government threw open a section of it to homesteading, there's been plenty of trouble. Hmm. Trouble like many nuts in Rawhide. When the Jed Scott party arrives from the east, it's going to tangle things up a lot more. Jed Scott? He important man? Well, the homesteaders have elected him their leader. Yes, there's a lot to be done, but there's still time to do it. The Scott wagon train hasn't arrived in San Ramon yet.
Here comes Thorn. Hank, your signals. Good. We'll get him in the past. That'll be the end of them. Be sure and get Jed Scott. The boss doesn't want him to reach San Ramon. There's Torrey Pass. Just beyond it lies San Ramon. Whoop! cattleman in the West, and he's sworn to keep homesteaders from settling the country. Maybe Dolan can explain what you were doing with those raiders. I think I'll send you back to him. Well, this hombre recognized him as one of your men, Dolan. Jed Scott thought it'd be a good idea to bring him along to you. Well, Scott wants me to account for a wrangler I fired last week, eh? You tell him that outlaws and raiders are his own worry. I'm not holding the hands of whimpering nesters so they can fence my water holes and plow under good grazing land. By the way, Vasquez, speaking of nesters, are you going to lead a man's life and raise cattle, or have you returned to San Ramon to do dirt farming? Not now, Dolan. There is another thing I have yet to finish. Hmm. Where's Uncle? He's inside. Take my sister's horse to the stable. I'm going in to see him now. Two men from Jet Scott's party just arrived with a wounded man. What about you? You must be a nester if you're with Jet Scott. I just joined the wagon train this morning because it was heading my way. Oh. What happened to you, Tucker? Tucker holds a grudge against the nesters, too. But he's not smart. He tried to fight them and the law at the same time. Why did they bring him to you, Uncle? I don't know. Jet Scott wanted to accuse me of trying to kill Nestor's. Why didn't he come here himself? Tell him I'll see him in San Ramon. I'd take the trouble because I believe in giving every man a fair warning before I step on him. By the way, take Tucker to town with you. I don't have to be the sheriff. Guess we'd better be going. Come on.
I understand Scott's bringing up-to-date maps and a proclamation that'll open up most of the water rights to the homesteaders. Round up the men and have them in town tonight. Yes, sir. My brother and I stake out land here. How good he will look facing the muzzle of my six shooter. Take my advice, fellas, and stay clear of him. The Lone Ranger hands out justice in his own way. Dolan's coming. Some information would be real glad to know. But I've got to tell you someplace in private. Some other time. I oh, know. It won't keep. It's got to do with the water rights. Lead the way. I'll be right back. Be so mysterious, man. Come on, out with it, out with it. Listen, Scott, what I'm about to tell you will amaze you. Dead, Sheriff. Drilled through the heart. The shot came through that window. I couldn't see who it was. You were going out that window when it broke in here, Scott. Well, sure, I was going to go after... Trying to make a getaway, huh? Just what to expect of a nester. Ah, the whole thing's a plot. Scott's innocent. Yes, Scott. I came over to talk to you tonight, but it seems you've taken matters in your own hands. Dolan, I had nothing to do with it. You may be telling the truth. As far as I'm concerned, you're guilty till you're proved innocent. It's a trick to keep me from proving the homesteaders have legal rights. Sheriff, take him away. We cattlemen have been accused of not cooperating with the homesteaders. Why should we? Why should we lend aid to a mistake? A mistake that will ruin the West if it gets a foothold. right to this country as you have. Not till you fought for the land the way we did. And I give you a fair warning, you've got to fight for every last inch of it. The Lone Ranger's got Jed Scott!
Well, amigo, whether you wanted it or not, this one time you have kept your bargain with me. So you finally caught up with him. Let's see who he is. Logan! Guess I'm done for. You have deserved this. My brother, he was so young. Yeah, I remember. I plugged your brother, because he's causing us too much trouble. Did you kill Doc Grover back at the saloon? Slade. Slade was at the window. <laughs> well, I guess that evens the score with your brother's murderer. Yeah. But I cannot figure out how it comes that this Logan is the Lone Ranger. That's easy. That fellow was an imposter. Oh, but who is the Lone Ranger? It's all right, Otto. Don't shoot. You? I had to keep you in the dark until the situation worked itself out. Madre mia! You know, you have fooled me altogether. <laughs> I would have never believed anything. See, Juan, you finished what you set out to do. But my job is just beginning. There's trouble and bloodshed in San Ramon, and someone behind it who must be brought to justice. My people taught me to know, friend. Senor, mi casa is su casa. All I have is yours. Gracias. I left Jed Scott headed for town to give himself up to the sheriff. Supposing you ride to San Ramon and tell them what you know about the fake Lone Ranger. Pues si, amigo. And in the meantime, I'll look up Slade and see what I can find out about the killing of Doc Grover. Está bueno. Where we can find Jed Scott and his party? Scott's in jail. In jail? Yeah, for murder. We find the rest of his party camped at the south edge of town. Thanks. Now, you and Harden are to start rumors that friends of Doc Grover's is round over his being killed. I lay it on thick. Let the settlers think that Scott's life ain't safe, he been in jail. Well, what's the idea? Scott's men will march on the jail to protect him. That's where we come in. The sheriff ain't gonna give up his prisoner. Oh, I get it. We uphold the law. During the shooting, we account for a good money of the masters. I'll round up the boys stand by. You'd better hurry if you want to save Jed Scott. The Nestors are organizing to march on the jail and get Jed Scott by force. That don't make sense. He knows how Jed Scott gave himself up last night. Well, all I'm telling you is what I know to be a fact. Say, listen, Slade. How long do I have to stay out of sight anyhow? Until Logan gets back here with the news that Jed Scott's out of the way. I didn't mind being shot with a blank or playing corpse for a while. I didn't dream that you'd carry things this far. Hi, Logan. Sit down. Logan died last night. Get up against that wall.
Hey, Slade! Hey, Slade! See what he wants. Hurry up. The nest has been talked into trying to free Scott from jail. Get to San Ramon and being on the shooting. Boss his orders. Close the door. So your friends are planning a little massacre in town, eh? What do we do, Daniel? Go and get your guns and come on. The minute we hear shooting, we're going to go to the help of the sheriff. We've come to get Jed Scott. Yeah. Well, he ain't going to get him. He's a prisoner of the law, awaiting fair trial. How do we know he's going to have a fair trial? Yeah. Now stop it, all of you. Go on back to camp, peaceably. Just a minute. Just a minute, men. Just a minute. I think we'd better get the men back to the camp. I'll break a window. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good work, Juan. I've got Jed Scott. Hurry, Juan. Come on, Silver. Come on. Come on. Venga, Silver. Venga. saving the life of my prisoner. It sure was a narrow escape. I have evidence proving that Jed Scott is innocent of murder, Sheriff. Evidence that will satisfy any court. In that case, we'll get a hold of Judge Miller pronto and arrange an early trial. All right, you may be seated. We are ready, Your Honor. Proceed. Jed Scott, take the stand. Jed Scott, you're accused of murdering Doc Grover. How do you plead? Not guilty. Your Honor, this man was found in a room with the deceased, and he was holding a gun in his hand. Just a moment. Your Honor, I can prove that Jed Scott is innocent. Judge Miller. I object to a masked man being allowed to interfere with court proceedings. The Lone Ranger has the respect of all law-abiding people. He stands for justice. The court will be glad to listen to whatever he has to say. You may proceed. Thank you, sir. Your Honor, the supposedly murdered man, Duck Grover, is alive. Order! This is hardly believable. How can you prove it? By producing Grover alive to this court. Tonto is bringing him in. They should be here any moment. If what you say is true, the prisoner will be released. The court will recess for 30 minutes. Take him to the cave. Get going. Gentlemen, we will have to proceed with the case. But, Your Honor, I know the man is alive. Just a few more minutes. Judge Miller, I insist we go on with this trial immediately. <laughs> Sheriff will proceed with his evidence against Scott. Your Honor, isn't it true that the burden of proving guilt rests with the state? That's right. Then I demand that the body of Dr. Rover be produced, thereby proving his death before proceeding with this trial. The request is entirely in order. Where is Grover buried? Why, uh, out to his ranch, I was told. The jury and the prisoner will accompany the court to the ranch this afternoon and view the remains. Judge Miller, I protest. Court is adjourned. Tonto must be in trouble or he would have arrived in time. You watch and see what happens. I've got to locate Grover before they reach the ranch. Gee, stop waiting.
Tonto's Tonto Scout. How far is it to Grover's Ranch? Oh, about two miles. I'm staying here until they bring Grover's body. Take care of the horses. The Lone Ranger asked Judge Miller to produce Doc's corpse. <laughs> That's a good one. I ain't dead. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got nothing against you, Doc, but the judge and the whole court's going out to your ranch this afternoon to have a look at your remains. And we got to have a corpse for him to look at. You can't do that. I... Too bad, Doc. The boss has already sent Slade and some of the boys out to dig a grave. And we got to have you in it for the time the judge and the rest of them get there. Well, now, listen, man. You can't do that to me. You've got to let me go. No use, Doc. Got to do it. Blindfold it. Oh, um, no, no, please. Wait a minute. No, please, you can't do this. Listen, boys. Now, listen, boys, please. Drop that gun. Don't let him shoot me. Release Tonto. Get over. Get rid of those guns. find Doc in there. That doesn't prove Doc wasn't murdered. How do we know the Lone Ranger didn't rob that grave? That's right. How do we know? Wait 
a minute, men. Scott's guilty. I saw some nesters making off with Grover's body. This is one time we aim to see justice done. Are we going to let him get away with it? No. 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 Wait, you can't do this. Oh, please. yes, we can. Oh, let's get back. Get down. Come on. Get down. Bring up that horse. Judge Miller, I demand that Jed Scott be absolved of all the charges against him. The case is dismissed, and when I find out who's responsible for this outrage, I shall certainly see that the law takes its course. Who's behind it? Well, he's the man that... You hurt, Ben? Oh, just a bruise. Silver for my bullets. You got here just in time. Once again, Rossi. What about Slade? He's dead. You say Slade knew who was behind this? Yes, he. He was one of your uncle's men, wasn't he? Are you trying to pin this on my uncle? No, but somebody's trying to stop homesteading around here. Well, they're going to take up our homesteads anyhow. There'll be a meeting at the land office tomorrow morning. I've got some important news. Better tell Craig Dolan to be there, too. I will. You men can file on all the homesteads you want. What you'll find is going to be pretty dry business. You can see from this map, the land with water on it is not open for entry. That may have been true last year, Dolan, but six months ago, the government passed a bill opening all land in this valley. Here's a copy of it. All right, you can stake out your claims, but let me warn you, you're going to have trouble holding them. Black Raiders will stop at nothing. Murder, pillage. When you're fighting these outlaws, don't come sniveling to me for help or to any other cattleman. Come on, Bart. We can go ahead now. Come on, let's break the news. The land's open. Black Raiders, eh? I mean, it looks like a job for the no region. Lone Ranger rides? Yes, it feels like trouble in the wind for the settlers. We're going to keep an eye on the Dolan Ranch. Don't know a good place to watch from. We'll go there right away. Headed for the Badlands, where the Black Raiders hang out. Come on! Who's that broken shoe? Taking out the water holes. 
And your orders are to take care of them. We can do that. Get the rest of your men and go after Daniels. They're squatted at Willow Springs. I'll spread the news to the rest of the raiders. Right. You find Colt and his men farther up. I'll follow that black raider. You two follow the other one. What you doing here, sis? Oh, just riding around. How about you? I'm looking for strays. Uh, say, I'm glad I ran into you. My horse's got a broken shoe. I'm afraid he'll go lame. How about you and me trading? You're on your way home. All right. trail on Hard Rock. That is too bad. I wish I'd known who was riding that horse with the broken shoe. I think I will go to San Ramon and find out if I can uncover something there. May keep on looking for trail. Good idea. Go ahead. Take care of the squatters at Willow Springs. We start right now. So get down. All right. attack the Daniels party at Willow Springs. You can help me if you will. Of course. Good. Ride to San Ramon. Find Jed Scott. Tell him to send help at once. There's still time for me to warn the Daniels family.
Danny. Got any extra shells? I'm out. Just a few. Help ought to be here pretty soon. I hope so. Black Raiders are attacking Daniel's camp. The Lone Ranger sent me to get help. Find the rest of the men. Have them get their horses quick. Wait. This is the horse with the broken shoe. The one I tell you that we follow to the bad land. Well, what have you got to say for yourself, miss? Why, I... I don't know what you mean. But the Daniels are being attacked. You've got to believe me. You're on the cattleman's side, miss. I'm not going to send my men into what may be a trap on your say-so. Can you imagine that? Roland's girl bringing that word. Yes, sir. It's no use. We'll have to run for it. And let them burn all the stuff? We can't stop that by staying here and getting killed. You fellas go ahead. I'll hold them here long enough to give you a good start. Then what do you do? I'll catch up with you. Go ahead. Silver. Up the canyon with the Daniels family. I'll go get him. All right. Don't let you wait for you at the river. What about our wagon? Me go see if it's safe, huh? Even if they did get all our goods. Tonto and I will trail them. In the meantime, you ride to San Ramon to find out why help hasn't arrived. Something may have happened to Sue Dolan.
Howdy, Miss Dolan. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Did you get to Jed Scott? Yes, I did. But he wouldn't believe me. He thought it was a trick. A, a trick? <laughs> That's mighty strange. How was that? Suppose you ask him. I'm through trying to help people who won't trust me. were attacked by black raiders at Willow Springs. What do you want me to do, cry about it? What have you been up to? What do you mean? You were seen talking to one of the black raiders just before the attack. Oh, that. Uh, yeah, I ran into one of them. I told him he'd better lay off that rough stuff, or he'd have us and the nesters both gunning for him. You make it sound all right, but I'm afraid you're headed for trouble, Bart. Trouble? What's all this about? Sue's just been accusing me of being in cahoots with the Black Raiders. Well, are you? Of course not, Uncle. But one of the nesters told me... Nesters. You're getting entirely too friendly with them. Don't you realize they're trying to take the land that rightfully belongs to you and Bart? Bart, I need your help in the corral. Yes, sir. Bart, you're hiding something from me. I'm so afraid that you're getting involved in something serious. Stop worrying, sis. take these supplies back to Daniels. Sandy on it. Cut over the hill to the cave ahead of me and tell the boys to ambush me and tie me up when I get there. When she sees that, she won't think I'm so friendly with the raiders. Hi, Savvy. Are you sure you understand? Yeah, we got it. You better get set. He'll be here any minute.
father. Where? Just over in the next canyon. They ambushed him and took him into a cave. We'll help you. going in. You stay here and keep out of sight. All right. I suppose she won't follow you in here. If I know Sue, she will. Then we won't be able to use this hideout any longer. Don't you think I know that? Better fuse one of those powder kegs and blow up the cave when we leave. Maybe better tie me up to make it look on the square. You can give me a chance to get away later. Get a piece of rope. Come on, Colt. got a better idea. We'll blast the cave. Take Dolan outside. We'll take care of him later. Silver. Throw it away. 
Go to the way, boy. Come on, boy. the Lone Ranger. Yeah. And good riddance, too. Silver. Closer, Silver. Closer. Steady, Silver, boy. Come on, let's get going. Leave me tied up in case we meet Sue. Silver, pull! Pull, Silver, pull! Pull! Quick, Toto, before they return. Steady, steady. I think I can handle him now. Thank you. Tonto and I will ride to San Ramon with you and your brother. Black Raiders are a bad lot. There's no telling what they would have done to them. I'm eternally grateful to you. Anything I can do in return, just name it. There's one thing that would help a lot. What is it? Call a truce with the homesteaders. Come with me. Look, 
See those wagons camped over there? They came in this morning loaded with seed. Seed your friends would use to make farms out of cattle range. Do you suppose I'm going to sit back and see that happen? Well, there's more land here than you could ever use, and it's legally open for homesteading. If you'd meet the settlers halfway, I'm sure your differences could be ironed out to the benefit of all. Me dicker with, Nesters? Why, I... Uncle. Won't work. Cattle land is cattle land. Well, at least you could try and settle your differences agreeably. Why, I tell you, I... Maybe you're right. Tell Jet Scott and the other settlers I'll see him in town. See what we can work out. Good. I'll see you to the door. Do you really intend to dicker with the nesters, Uncle Craig? Back when I came here, this was wilderness. I fought hard to make it a good cattle country. I'm going to use every means possible to keep the nesters off this range. That is, every legal means. This seed depends the future of every one of us. It means food, clothing. It means life itself. But the seed is getting late. We've got to start planting the minute this property question is settled. But how are we going to do that, Jed? Dolan's fighting us at every turn. That's right, Jed. As long as Dolan claims this land is his and we can't do no farming. Yeah, what, yeah. Are what are we going to do? No, wait a minute. The Lone Rangers got Dolan to meet with us to try to figure a way out that will be satisfactory to both the cattlemen and to the settlers. So maybe, men, tomorrow we can start plowing. Mason, Baker, and Murphy, you guard these wagons. If anything happened to this seed, we'd starve. The rest of you men come with me. Come on, don't tarry. Tell her I'll be long as soon as the meeting's over. All right, Pa. We've been waiting for you, Daniels. Well, we're all here. Now I can get out of business. Oh, I forgot the map. I'll get it. certain place, what would you do? I think maybe I'd call it me too. Now, here's what I mean, Daniels. Section number one, the north part of town here, is a pretty good piece of property. And if you men settle on that, I'll uh, take it up with the boys and they may agree to something. How many men are guarding the seed wagon? Only three. Stay here, I'll look around. Yeah. Get moving.
When this hits, them seed wagons will burn like tinder. What's the matter, Danny? There's some black raiders on the hill above the camp. They're up to something, but I couldn't tell what. We'll go ahead. You go to town and tell the others to come at once. Judge it all. Double guard on the wagon. When are you going to divide the seed? After the men file on the land, they're cleaning. The forms are due on the stage tomorrow. like Bill to be late. Well, that looks like it now. That's it, all right, and he's sure making tracks. I kind of figured to be driving fast. Seems to be something wrong.
What's the matter, Bill? The Black Raiders held me up in Ball Canyon. The Federal Dispatch Box is gone. Then we can't file on our claims. The government forms were in that chest. Hey, Kennedy. I'll round up a posse right away. You men come over to my office. before they get started. I'll go on ahead. You go with the party. Step right up. This is where the stage was held up, all right. Mm. Stay right up, Canyon. He tricked you with the government's horn. They're more than likely in the land office by now. My son down half the land in the valley will be claimed by the homesteaders. Remember 
with accommodation? Oh, sure. Right, 14, left, 3, right, 9, left to 13. That's it. Wait a minute. They'll be safe there, all right. Every night I take this string and tie it from the safe door to a gun. combination will get a load of buckshot. That's a clever idea. The orders are to get them papers out of the safe before morning. Outside of the sheriff, the land office clerk is the only one who knows the combination. That's being taken care of. Ransom Black is laying in wait for the land office clerk right now. They'll take him to that old barn in Rock Meadows and sweat the combination out of it. What'll I do in the meantime? You better keep a watch on the office.
away from that safe. See if the safe's open. Both Bart and I would have been prisoners of the Black Raiders. Yes, I know that. But those claims have the official stamp on them. Why, Washington will give deeds to whatever property they call for. Those nesters could change them to include all the rangeland in the San Ramon Valley. Sheriff, I want those five claims back. Yeah, but where are they? The Lone Ranger been working with the nesters. He'd probably give them to Scott. I'm within my legal rights when I demand you get those claims back so the clerk can look them over before they send on to Washington. That's right. Now, I'll take my deputy and we'll... We'll need more help than that. Bart, get some of the men. Right. Come, Sue. You men will ride with the sheriff and pretend to help him. But make sure that those claims are destroyed. And if you run into the Lone Ranger, my offer still stands. $5,000 in gold. gratitude, whoever he is. If nothing can stop us now, Prescott will be on his way in no time. Don't be too sure about that. These claims ain't in Washington yet. Andrews is right. We better get Prescott started on his way from him. Right, it's headed this way. It's the sheriff. You'll be after these claims. We'll never give them up. Got any place to hide him? Yes. Well, then hurry up. The rest of us will hold him off to give you time. Let's get outside. Howdy, Sheriff. Daniels, I'd come for them claims. Claims? I don't know what you're talking about, Sheriff. You know what I mean, them land claims. Give them to me. What makes you think we've got them? Why, the Lone Ranger said so. Ah, the Lone Ranger this and the Lone Ranger that. All I hear is the Lone Ranger. Step aside. Just a minute, Sheriff. You forget, this is private property. You cannot go in there. I can't help it this time. I'm going in. Ah, oh, Sheriff, for no, Sheriff. You are not Just going in. Just a minute. Just a minute. You can't talk to the Sheriff like that. Hey, what do you mean by this? Just what I said. Senor, do you realize that you are insulting me in front of all these people? You could not be insulted. Senor, I'm going to tell you that I'm becoming a very furious man. Stop pounding on my shoulder. I'm going to punch on your nose. Don't. My knee, my shoulder, she's broke. Close my door. Just a minute, gents. So you boys won't get over anxious, you better give me your guns. Well, you can go ahead now. And Andrews, I hope you're with me. fighting about. Well, uh, hey. the senor, he insults me. 
Oh, senor, I am sorry. I, <laughs> I am sorry, too, senor. <laughs> oh, hello, Sheriff. Anything we can do for you? I came after them claims. Claims? Well, there's no claims here. You can go in and have a look if you like. I ought to run the whole lot of you in. Come on, Lawson. Oh, Sheriff. Oh, Sheriff. Uh, Senor? <laughs> <Gracias>. <laughs> Well, there's nothing there. But I know you've got him and I... Well, never mind. Let's get back to San Ramon. something and quit. You're right. He's not through yet. I reckon I'll follow him away. We'll stay here a while. Lawson? Get behind them rocks and keep your eyes open. what they expect from them. What do we do? Juan and I'll try something. Get the claims and put them in his saddlebag. Chair back. Home. Yeah, but get a bundle of papers, anything. Tonto's waiting for me at the rise. I have a plan. Step again. Have Prescott meet us the other side of Rainbow Pass. Right. Be careful. Watch your steps. riding off towards the pass. On your horses.
in a ways. Get up on the cliff and drop down behind the shack. Drop down, we'll rush him. Catch up with him now. Come on, we have to take the sheriff's body back to San Ramon. Well, I reckon we'll have to elect a new sheriff. election for the new sheriff right away? Just as soon as it can be arranged. We've got enough votes to see that the man elected sheriff gives the settlers a square deal. Any capable man suits me as long as he's honest. We've got the right man and here he is. Men, we nesters are putting up Paul Daniels for sheriff. What? Well, that's too speak. Well, now I, I didn't figure that you'd choose me. I reckon you cattlemen will have your own candidate, won't you? Why, uh, why, certainly. Deputy Joe Parker is the logical man for the job. Right. Come in, the first thing we've got to do is let the word out there's going to be an election. Well, what can I do? You get on your horse, ride around, and tell everybody to vote for your Paul. Yeah, that'll be easy. <laughs> you fellas get on your horses, ride around, and spread the news. I've just come from a meeting. We've nominated Daniels for sheriff. Now, we don't want anything that ain't rightfully ours. All we want is a chance to develop our farms in peace. But we'll never have peace so long as there's a sheriff in San Ramon who is in sympathy with the cattlemen. That's right. Daniels must beat Joe Parker in this election. So it's up to you men to round up all the settlers and see that they get in here to vote. Powers, you get Prescott and Merritt. Right. Evans, you ride up Ball Canyon and tell the folks there. I'm on my way. Simpkins, you ride west. The rest of you men cover the valley. I'll take care of the people here in town. Now hurry to it. Get into town and vote for Daniels! Now that's the situation, men. And it's your duty, every one of you, to come into town and vote for Daniel. As long as the sheriff was cattle-minded, we had plenty of chance to keep those natures in their place. But if he gets their own man in, he can cause plenty of trouble for us. They'll elect their own man, all right. They can outvote the cattlemen two to one. But one man ain't hard to stop. Daniels could have an accident awful easy. You know I don't hold that sort of thing. I'll find some way to stop him.
What do you want? Oh, excuse me. I thought you were someone else. Don't go away. What's on your mind? Well, I was going to ask you to vote for my dad, but I guess you ranchers won't want to after that. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. You can't tell. Us cattlemen ain't always as bad as we have had it. Why don't you ride up to camp with us and tell us about your dad? You can't never tell. We might be able to throw a lot of votes his way. Sure. <laughs> Take him on up to the cave. We'll be along in a few minutes. All right, come on, kid. What's the idea of this play? When old man Daniel hears we've got his kid, maybe he'll change his mind about running for sheriff. You do, Miss Taylor. It's right neighborly of you to come over and help us out. There's no trouble at all, Mrs. Daniels. Come in, Miss Ross. Your son is safe, but you'd better come up to the Painted Gorge and talk over this election. Daddy! Oh, what are we going to do? Don't worry. I'm going to get Danny. What can you do alone? Why don't you get some if of them? If you want to help, help some of the men I have gone to Painted Gorge. Don't worry, Ma. I'll be right back. position to make me. Now, here's all you have to do. Wait until the morning of election day, then quit and let Lawson get elected. You do that, and you'll get your son back safe and sound. Where's my boy? In the cave, up the gorge away. First side canyon to the left. And his father's gone after him alone. Can you find the Lone Ranger? Me find it. Get me back to town. I'm hurt bad. Guns in reach. You heard me. I said drop. Tie him up. Get outside and stand guard. We don't want any more surprise business. It may be a trap, but I'm going anyway. Wait here. Thank you. 
Well, my Emmanuel's got past us and headed for the cave. Go and take my horse. You and Murdoch, get up there. I'll take care of Hart. Try that on me. Get over here. Danny, untie your dad. All right, come on. gentlemen. Somebody's coming out. 